Janelle, police are looking for two shooters in this case. They say between the two of them, they fired more than two dozen shots. Now, the victims are both 23 years old. They are both in the hospital tonight with non life threatening injuries. But I am told that as a result of the woman's injuries, her baby had to be delivered today at just 24 weeks. The guy was running around. He was in such a panic. He didn't even realize he was shot. Elaine Gash lives on East 17th Avenue, not far from where this car pulled over with two gunshot victims inside, including a pregnant woman. Police say at least 15 shots went into this car. The shooting happened two blocks away at the gas station near 17th and West Streets. Unfortunately, my daughter works over there. So thank God she left work early today. It's here. Police say the victims were inside the car parked at a gas pump when at least two shooters shot at the back of the Nissan. The circles you see on the ground from Sky 4 with action cam are evidence markers, marking the more than 25 shots that were fired. The victims, still conscious, were able to drive two blocks before stopping for help. He was so worried about it. All I heard him say was my baby shot. They shot my baby and I'm like, oh my God, was that a child? And then I look and I seen that the girl was pregnant. A school crossing guard and others nearby ran over to help the woman who was not moving much in the driver's seat. Police say she and the man were both shot in the back. Unfortunately, we've become kind of numb to the bullets ringing yeah, in this can't. neighborhood. Broad daylight, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kids are getting out of school and shootings. You know, it's ridiculous. So police say those shooters were on foot, but then after the shooting, they ran down an alleyway by the gas station called East Pink Way, and they jumped into a white sedan with tinted windows. Police say if you know anything about this or anything about these suspects, they need to hear from you. Reporting.